Hey, Amato here with Rhythm Act TV. We have Lauren, Lauren Cox. And um, she's one of the performers in the show tonight. Uh, what's your role in the show? I play an ostrich in the show. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So um, how do you feel about that role? What, you know, did it take to prepare it? And um, I mean, in the program, we did a lot of meditations and kind of visualizations and research to get in our animals. And so that initially really helped. And now that it's in a lot of us and now that it's personally in me, I kind of don't really have to think about it. I just have an image in my head of my ostrich and that's all. And I just go and just trust myself and trust the animal and it just kind of carries you throughout the piece. <laughs> so what's the difference between the Lauren before the program and the Lauren after the program? Um, <laughs> I, this program has opened my eyes to the world of commercial dance, which is really funny to say because I entered in this program kind of not liking commercial dance even though it's it's for the commercial dancer I just really like that the program um, kind of honed into your own personal uh, elevation so that's why I joined the program and then who knew that I love this you know what I mean and I love performing first and foremost and so um, how have I changed? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty level-headed. So I, I think just in terms of learning and, and growing as a person, as a team member, as um, somebody who believes in myself more and more each day and the people around me each day, then maybe that's, that's grown, definitely. But I wouldn't say that I was, you know, dark than light, but it's definitely getting brighter. <laughs> And um, what would you say your favorite pieces from the um, movie? From the movie. Yeah. Yeah. We're in a movie. <laughs> the know. Lion King. Yeah, that's one of my goals. <laughs> um, what would you say your favorite piece is from the show? Um, I really enjoy the ending piece. I love Machine Gun, which is the last piece where we're all danced together, because I feel like we've kind of proved our, our, our point throughout the entire show and we've become these animals we've danced as ourselves and the last one is just all of that coming together and I really feel the energy from everyone in that last piece and I just love to do it and we're each out there in our own style because we had more freedom with the clothing and so it just it feels nice it feels good to be with these people that I love so much <laughs> yeah because I've seen like when I was sitting down the rehearsals like you guys were like a big family so um what piece of advice would you give to inspiring dancers out there that are trying to make it in this you know tough business be yourself. Don't try and don't look at TV and try and copy what you see. Try and try and make it better for yourself. Try and try and really define that what that means in yourself and just be free in that rather than confine yourself to anything. I mean, especially for women, you can look on on TV or in radio or on YouTube and say, OK, this is what's sexy. But no, that's what they're sexy. That's what they say is sexy. So be your own you know, sexy goddess, and that's what I really would love to, for women to walk away with when they watch me dance and all of us dance. Yeah. And what are your uh, career plans? Any career plans or anything we should expect from you? Um, I try to stay open to everything. Uh, I love to travel. I would like to travel through dance. That's my ultimate, ultimate goal is just to see the world and dance and study it in many different countries. And um, I would love to be on The Lion King. <laughs> that's one of my goals. So I'm going to work towards that. And I would love to be creative with any artist that has a pure vision. I love Erica Badu. She's my inspiration. Badu. <laughs> and um, so I would love to work with any of these artists. That would be a dream come true. And just to be a collaboration, not necessarily only dance, but just open your world to anything and everything that's possible. And to just be free, keep doing what I'm doing, make some money off it. That'd be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So awesome. Well, <laughs> high five to that. <laughs> so here you have it, guys. Lauren, Amato, Rhythmatic TV. Peace. Yeah.